Welcome back to Twy in Game, where today we are going to do part two of Guardian Tales. Let's get started, shall we? We're going to start our adventure off where the heroes left off. Humans must catch. There. Don't. Don't worry. We'll be okay. And we're gonna find Cammy and Eva. Humans! Get them! Profit! Witness me, ancestors! I've lived an honorable life! I'm over here, you filthy monsters! Goblin mad! So if you can see at the top right of your screen, there's four chests. Three gems and 26 coins we have to find in this level of the game. In the top left, you have the map that slowly starts to show up as we go. So uh, in this game, it's a very strategic game. You have to go around and try and find everything. And in this game, you're not just finding things. You actually have to strategically figure out how you're going to get to them. All right, let's get going. We got to go save our friend. But I'm going to stop along the way and grab the coins. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm hitting the sword button. You can also hold down the sword button, but I feel like it's not as fast as an attack. I can't get through there yet. It kind of has a Zelda-esque feel to it. A mighty fine day, if you ask me. Are you sure you'd like to speak with me? I'd like to chat, but you seem awfully busy. Can't get into here either. Let's keep going then. All right, we gotta collect these more coins. It looks like she's following me. And these coins. Now you've seen in the previous one where I can start a fire with this fire, but I have to use this over here. So I'll just pick it up then light it and then light these and then these things go down. There's a lot of crazy things like that. Oh. I gotta say, I'm pretty strong for a level one. <laughs> Which is good. See, she's following me. We meet again. What a coincidence. Such a lovely day. What a coincidence. We're going the same way. We meet again. What a coincidence. Okay, yeah, I've had enough of that. Let you, let you on fire. Just kidding. I'm gonna light these on fire. But I forgot to read them first. Aw. Oh well. I got what I wanted. Ooh, pretty. You can now break small rocks. Ah, but that's what for this is for. Yes, look at me go. Bad human kidnap girl. Human hurt each other. Why? Goblin don't understand. Bad who didn't kidnap girl. Oh, yeah, I guess they all say the same thing. Ugh. What's going on? See? Like salamanders to a flame. Well, 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 let's see the poor soul. This ain't your bounty, kid. Danny got the girl. Danny! Get steak dinner? Of course, sweetie. You get two steaks tonight. 
You'll get many more once we get the 300 million gold bounty. Bounty? Don't act dumb, org face. We know you're after the girl. You might be good, but we're better. Isn't it already time? Time for us to be filthy rich. Tough luck, org face. Danny Dash! I believe this is where they tell me how to get free. Ah, oh, there we go. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. I'm starting to swing, so it's doing something. Oh! The stalker is here. Ugh! Oh, Kamal, what's happened here? Mercenaries kidnapped your friend? That's not good. We've got to save the little girl. This road is blocked. However, where there's a will, there's a way. And I guess the creators are showing it to us. Awesome. I'll help you save your friend. We've got to help those in need. Well, that's nice of her. Alright, let's go. Alright, if I go into here and I press this button here, it'll show us how to level up. So I'm just going to level up and then press the X button. And then I can complete my uh, mission, which gives me extra XP. Well, completing missions gets you extra random stuff, which is always good. That was the map. I'm just going to level up again a couple more times here. I like having a little bit of a head start because I'm not always the best in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so... Alright. This is your settings. General settings. Then you have your controls. And then you can go over to account settings right here. In the top right, this is our mailbox. It was the little mail in the corner. Right beside that you have the general chat. And then the settings. Not only does it cost energy to unlock, but it costs energy to play. A little change in perspective. Uh, when you clock in uh, every day, you get a couple of free rewards, which is awesome. Now let's go to the future. Welcome to the future. I just jumped ahead in the game so that I can show you guys everything else that I've learned. So we have the rift, and here you can battle or do strategic gameplays for extra resources, awakening dungeon, skills for certain type of characters, skills for certain types of characters, so like mountain and normal, fire and light, water and dark. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys quickly the awakening dungeon. It's so funny. It's time to clamp down on illegal parking. Smash them. So in this one, you actually get to like attack the cars. And you get points for attacking the cars because they did not park properly. So we get to destroy them. Isn't that hilarious? This the games creators here have such a sense of humor. And uh, if you click on the level, some levels will have like certain players are better to play it. Also, I probably shouldn't be having her on here because she's a healer, so she's actually not helping at all. So if you click on the characters themselves, you can get into this screen, but you can't change the character. Whereas if you clicked on the gear right beside them, you can actually change your character instead of going out of screen like I did for a while and going into changing characters from there. So I'm just gonna get out of here and then you have the tower and tower is just like a battle um, a battle kind of thing. Like most games have their towers going up this one has their tower kind of going sideways which is kind of an interesting concept. I'm on tower 13 right now and it's still fairly easy. So 
so the boot makes me run fast and I can just attack like that If I ever get low, just run towards my healer. They're usually pretty good at healing me up. Good thing I brought somebody that uh, does long range attacks with me today. And then I got this special move here. Now each character has a different kind of special move. Some are the radius that they're in and some are um, facing a certain direction. So you make sure that when you're using certain characters that it works like that. To this character, I have to face the enemy and then use my special move. I never got to use it here though. And these are interesting. This is the ending part of the tower. You actually have to just hold your button down and it'll attack this thing until it's destroyed. It's like destroying the enemy's flag. It's kind of neat. And even though it takes a little longer at the end, I think it kind of builds for the love of the game instead of like okay I just finished that tower I'm done it's kind of like you get to revel in your victory a little bit all right I'm actually going to go to the top left here and click on world map now after you finish your first world you'll actually get a little area like this that you get to raise up all your people and everyone that you have in the game so far will be here so they'll just all be living in this nice little town, which is really cool. It gives you extra money and they give you these little heart things, which you can use to purchase either land or upgrade buildings or upgrade the, sh the shop itself. which is a lot. Also, they tell you how um, satisfied they are with the town that you've built. So as you can see, food, uh, drink, and um, games are in yellow. But if I went and I leveled up, well, it's level three already. Let's say I leveled up this cake shop and I leveled up this game it'll make the satisfaction a little more higher and then uh, I, I believe the game will go into the green I'm not sure if the drinks will also when you when you uh, upgrade your inn it'll it'll open up more areas for you Then you have, I don't, this probably, this isn't going on for much longer, but it's like a special event. So you get uh, event points when you do stuff. You can press on the question mark. It'll tell you how much event points you get for each thing that you do. And then when you get event points, you can actually use it towards all this stuff here. Now I went through the top and I should have went through the bottom because I wanted this one. And it won't even tell you what the item is. This is, I, I think this is a little downside. Uh, it won't tell you what the item is uh, so that you can't look at it. But uh, I think I should have gone through the bottom. And then gone through the top here. Because that is uh, 40 of one character's thing. And I should have gone gotten for that. Gone for that. Oh. All right. So over here is a balloon. You can have someone come visit your city and they'll give you lots of uh, red hearts. If you click on the red hearts to the left, you'll get this board here saying uh, how much production uh, they're satisfied with. So I think I need like 60 of each to get it back into the green. When you level it up, they'll expect more for you, Mew. So if you're not ready to level it up yet, like I wasn't ready to, um, they're not going to be very satisfied with you. So it tells me that I get uh, this much pink hearts an hour. 
And then I have 22 out of 26 heroes in my city at a time. That's something you have to watch out for. And then I have zero out of two workers. I don't know how to get workers. I know how to get uh, heroes though. If you go to the bottom right, we have the summons. Pick hero summons and then summon heroes. And then there's equipment. Pick, pick up equipment summons and then summon equipment. I think these ones are for like a special event kind of one. And then these ones are just the general. Let's do it, shall we? I fixed my sound for this part, but uh, I did a hero equipment instead of heroes. All right. As you can see in there, you can tell which ones are gonna be the good ones and which ones are not. So this one's four star, two star, two, 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 and they say rare on the right hand side, rare gauntlet. And then the last one, unique staff, four stars. So this is everything we got. It'll show us what's new and what is old. Now, if we go into our menu and we click book, then we click on the items. If we have new items, then we can collect all the stuff. And when you level up, then you get uh, more bonuses for each level up. See, I'm getting a, sh a lot, a lot of gems. <laughs> okay. But I think that's everything that you guys actually need to know about this game. There's still so much more to learn, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys try this game out. I think that this game is going to top some charts here. This is Twi in game, Twi out.